So, hi guys, it's Matt, Saturday. Um, have you missed me? Don't answer that. It's been ages since I last updated a video because um, my old laptop died and I've had to wait for a replacement, which is finally here. So, it's week 7 and that's body image and self image. This feels kind of relevant to me um, because I'm coming up to top surgery now. It's um, about five weeks away, which is really quite exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward to having it done, obviously, and kind of looking forward to actually going through the process. Um, my body image and my self-image have always been really poor. I'm not going to pretend that they've been otherwise. Um, I was probably anorexic by seven, not that you'd know it to look at me now. Um, and while I've recovered from a lot of the more damaging behaviours associated with my poor body image, my poor body image itself has kind of remained the same, and being trans has obviously exacerbated that. It's sort of hard to acknowledge, though, that actually I probably have body image issues completely unrelated to being trans. Um, but it's hard to unpack that when so much of the body is gendered needlessly. Um, but for me, top surgery is hopefully going to help with that. I'm looking at getting lipo done at the same time on my love handles to kind of straighten out and masculinise my upper body, which I'm really hoping would help. Um, but body image and self-image are also really tied together tightly for me, and part of this process is also paying for it privately, buying top surgery, saying, you know what, guys, I'm actually worth six and a half thousand pounds, I'm worth that amount of money, my happiness is, my body is, and I'm going to do it. That's not the kind of thing I've ever done. That's not the kind of thing I'm good at doing. I'm not good at saying that I'm worth anything or putting any kind of a worth on myself. So for me, doing top surgery that way is a pretty big deal. Yes, I live in the UK. And yes, the NHS might, might have been an option. And I'm actually going to try and get some of the money back from the NHS, which my surgeon secretary thinks is possible. Um, I'm going with Yelland and Brighton, by the way. But it's more a case of saying that, you know what, I deserve this. I deserve to spend this money on myself and to make myself happy and fuck social norms and fuck everything that says I don't um, so yeah that's that's a really big deal for me I think body image and self image are kind of intrinsically tied together this is me intrinsically tying my fingers together while I figure out what to say next I think if you think that you're fucking ugly then you probably don't like yourself very much either and if you don't like yourself you're probably not going to think you're the most attractive person in the world Obviously there are exceptions to this, but I think in general the two things are pretty firmly attached. Um, and it's kind of hard to unpack them, it's kind of hard to say, well I'm going to fix this one, and I'm going to fix that one, and how do I fix them both together and separately? Um, I mean, for me, I'm trying to fix them together because I don't think you can fix them separately. big part of that is not self-harming, choosing not to self-harm. Because actually self-harming is kind of saying, you know what, body? I don't like you. And saying that to my body constantly um, is just going to make it even worse. Um, it's not going to make me feel any better. It's not going to make me feel happier about myself. So why do it? I mean, obviously, I do it because it helps me deal with emotions and stuff like that. But actually, it's not a healthy, positive coping strategy to use. And it's negative ones that I'm trying to move away from because um, I think that that'll make me happier. In the end, good body image and good self-image are something that society just doesn't let you have. Society doesn't want you to have those things. It wants you to hate yourself. You think I'm being overdramatic? Look at the messages in the magazines. Look at what we're expected to be and look at how many people are actually capable of being that. How many people have the privilege to achieve that. Very fucking few. So society is telling us, you know what, you just have to look like shit. You have to feel like shit the whole bloody time. And then it's surprised when we do. You know what? We're allowed. You're allowed to hate yourself. It's not good for you. But you're allowed to hate yourself. And I'm not going to tell you not to. I'm just going to tell you to think about the way you treat yourself. The way you treat other people. How you would feel if other people were treated the way you, you treat yourself. How would you, whether you would treat them the way you treat yourself. And you know what? Yeah, your body treats you worse than most of your friends. But it's also the only thing that you've really got that's yours. And society says this to trans people a lot. Fuck you, your body isn't yours, it's public property. Look at us, look at us discussing the shape of it, discussing your genitals constantly. But you know what? I think the 
biggest fucking rebellious thing you can do in today's world, and the most empowering thing you can do is say, this is my body, and it is mine. Thanks, guys.